In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Nano to edit text files from the Linux command line. Nano is a tool that's built into Linux by default. To check you have it installed on your system, you can type nano dash dash version. If you have it installed, you should see something like this. And if you don't have it installed, you can easily install it using the following command. Because I already have it installed, I'm not actually going to press enter here. We can use Nano to edit existing text files or to create new text files. Let me show you an example. So in this current folder, I have one text file. If I print the contents of this file, you see there are four lines. To edit this file in Nano, we simply type Nano and then the file name. We're now inside the Nano text editor. We can navigate through this file using the arrow keys. We can also use the page up and page down arrows that are on our keyboard. To make edits, you can use the backspace key and just type as you normally would, for example, To save the changes we make, we do Control X. You'll then see, see this prompt at the bottom saying save modified buffer. We can either type here Y for yes or N for no. If we type N for no, the file won't save. So if we print out the contents, it will be the same as it was before. However, if we make some changes and we do Control X and then we press, yet, we press Y for yes, We'll then come up with another prompt saying um, basically what do we want to, this file to be called. If we just press enter, the file have the same file name. But what you can also do here is actually change the file name. But for now I'm just going to press enter just to show you that the file has actually been updated. So if we print out the contents of this file now, we see the new line has been added here. What if we want to make changes to the file but save it under a new file name. So now we have the original file and a new file with the changes. Well, to do that, we use nano again. We make some changes to the file. And this time we do control X, Y, and here we change the file name. So I'm just gonna change it to file, file 43 instead of file 42. And then we click enter save file under a different name so it's another prompt here we just we click yes and now if i list the files here we should have two files yep so file 42 the original and the new file file 43. if i print the original it's the original contents if i print the new file we've got this line at the bottom which we've changed so right now I'm actually going to delete the, the new file we created just to keep things simple. And we're going to go back into the original file and edit it again. So we go nano, file name, enter. What you'll notice along the bottom here, we have uh, several options. We have this uh, hat symbol followed by a letter. So what this hat actually uh, relates to is the control key. So where you see hat G, that would be control G to get help. So Control G is actually a useful command for actually learning um, the different options in Nano. So I'm going to press Control G. And it will bring up this screen. So it will kind of tell you what each. This is Control G, Control X, Control O, and it will tell you what what each of the uh, commands does. Um, and then we see at the bottom here. If we want X out of the help, we just do Control X. So I'll do that. Control X. We haven't actually made any changes to this file. And if we realize we don't actually want to make any changes, then we can just exit out of this file again with Control X. Um, and it won't bring up, a, bring up a prompt asking us if we want to overwrite because there's nothing to overwrite. So it will just exit straight out. Another cool trick we can use is we can open the file at a certain line. And to do that, again, we type nano, but this time we type plus and then the line number you want to open the file at. So for example, I'm going to type three and then we do the file name and it should take us to the third line. Yeah, so it takes us to the third line. 
And I'm just going to clean this up quickly. So that's the basics of how we can edit a file using Nano from the Linux command line. We can also use Nano to actually create files. So if I list the current files in the directory, we've just got that one file. But to create a file with Nano, we just type Nano and then we just provide a file name. So I'm going to provide the name example.txt, click enter and it will bring up the uh, inside this new file. So let's just write test for now. We're going to do control X to exit. It's going to say save modified buffer. We put Y for yes. And then it's going to say the file name. Do we want to try to, to this name? We're going to click enter for yes. So now if we list the file contents of this folder, we have two files now. And if I print out the contents of uh, this, this new file, we should see test. Yeah, test is inside there. So that's just a really quick overview of how to use Nano to edit text files from the Linux command line. If you have any questions related to this video, feel free to drop a comment and I'll get back to you. So on that note, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.